Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel uh, and simply way to learn energy analysis. Uh, today I'm going to explain how to simulate thermal comfort uh, in an office building uh, by new tools of the ladybug and grasshopper. Uh, please follow my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new tutorials. As you can see, uh, I, uh, I gain a uh, different result with OpenStudio uh, engine. Um, I'm planning to add uh, more result with uh, Energy Plus engine as well. Please stay tuned. Uh, Uh, I try to, uh, you know, organize um, all the process for you uh, to learn uh, more and more. And uh, as you can see, I uh, divided, uh, you know, the process to uh, some steps. Uh, and you can see the steps and I uh, explain in, uh, you know, for uh, each of them uh, on the tutorials and you can, you know, uh, if you want just, you know, you know, know uh, more about, for example, programming or construction set, set or others, you can just, you know, uh, follow that and uh, that parts and, you know, skip other parts. Uh, this series tutorials, I, you know, mostly work with OpenStudio. And the results show that uh, um, the result shows uh, everything that I gain with OpenStudio. But uh, later I will add the result on Energy Plus as well, and you know show how you can uh, use the Energy Plus engine as well. Let's go start. We modeled uh, this building. Uh, this is the medium office building, and you can apply uh, this technique to all of you know type of the building, uh, office building, large, uh, small, and medium. Uh, we need to introduce um, you know each room uh, to grasshopper. We need to use the prep component and as you can see I uh, you know uh, I uh, use each prep uh, uh, for each building for each room uh, let's go to check everything um, So please be careful to, uh, you know, uh, check everything and added all of all rooms to Grasshopper with the prep component. Uh, let, we need to, you know, I always, you know, suggest you to uh, name all of the, you know, rooms because later if you have a problem on, you know, the uh, energy simulation we can you know follow and find easily which uh, part of the, your energy analysis process uh, have a problem has a problem and you can you know uh, fix it easily so let's to name all of the you know office building and if you have open space we have conference room we need to uh, you know, named uh, to named it on uh, the process of the you know energy analysis. And also be careful to you know 
don't use the na the same name uh, you know twice for you know the different room for example it's better to have for example one office one uh, one you know uh, office uh, number one office number two office number three don't for example use uh, for example office for all of the you know closed office you know room uh, it's in, it's very important to have you know a separately name for each room Please follow me step by step. And if you have any problem on that process, please uh, you know, write a comment for me. I try to pick up all of the comments and you know, help you on the process of the energy analysis of your project. Okay, let me know. Um, uh, let me check all of the rooms and I check, I, I added all of the rooms on a process or not. It seems I be all done. Okay, it's that's better. Okay, that's better. Don't forget to internalize uh, your, you know, model to the brip, uh, it helps if you are, you know, move, uh, wrongly move, you know, the rooms and wrongly uh, remove part of the, you know, your model, uh, you can still work with the grasshopper. Uh, please don't uh, forget to do this. Okay, as you can see, I remove uh, the room, but it's still we have it because I internalize all of the you know rooms uh, to the brip component. Okay, great. It seems we all done. Let's check the rooms. Uh, this is the stair and elevator. This is the first floor. This is the second floor, and this is the third floor. Let's go to introduce uh, rooms to the honeybee. 
in new version of the uh, ladybugs we have the you know new tabs and new component for example in honeybee we have uh, create visualize organize and serialize part and uh, in each part we have new organiza organization uh, that uh, for example for create uh, this new cat uh, we have uh, different new categories and this category is separated with the line with each other for example for uh, mm, uh, for introducing the room we need to use uh, the second category as you can see and we have different component uh, two components to introduce uh, our rooms to the honeybee for example uh, the most common uh, one in this component we need to add geometry uh, for example a cube as a room or something like that uh, it's the most common uh, component that used for introducing the room to the honeybee and uh, the another one is that uh, you know using the faces uh, i will make another tutorial for this uh, you know component and uh, show you how you can add uh, all, uh, the, uh, your room as a, you know faces to the you know honeybee uh, to the honeybee so let's go for geometry uh, i need to add the uh, prep uh, to the geometry and uh, the most important things in the process of the you know energy analysis with honeybee and ladybug it have it it is uh, you need to have a mo best organization and always organize the, your component so let's go for uh, this This component we need to add a modifier set, construction set, and program and condition and you know introduce via this is conditions or not. And also if we have a you know a roof with the angle, we need to add a roof angle as well. Uh, modifier set for modifier set uh, I should mention that uh, modifier set mostly used for radiance and for daylight analysis and you can find this component on a um, honeybee radiance uh, tab on um, and also on modifiers uh, part uh, you can find it uh, I show you how you can add it uh, modifier set but we don't need for uh, this uh, this part uh, for thermal comfort analysis it You can pick up uh, the modifier set from here and uh, just add it to the you know, comp 
component and we can add that other sub sets uh, to modify our set component if you want but uh, uh, for this tutorial uh, we are not planning to use this component because it's the thermal convert analysis uh, tutorial and not a daylight analysis and visual convert analysis so it is others type of uh, you know component that you need to add to modifier set if you want to uh, you know make a daylight or visual convert analysis so just uh, put them here uh, here just for in your information for now and Let's go for construction set. You can find the construction set on uh, tab Honeybee Energy and uh, on, uh, you know, part one. Uh, this is the one way that you can uh, add the construction set to the, you know, the process, but you can use the tab number zero as well. Uh, later in this tutorial, I will explain about how you can gain um, construct set uh, in a different way. Uh, please stay, um, you know, tuned and follow to uh, learn it. And uh, for now, I'm planning to use the easiest way. Just go to uh, Honeybee, uh, Honeybee Energy uh, tab and on... Uh, part zero, you uh, you, you can uh, you know add all of the you know components that you need. Please follow to uh, you know learn it. Please uh, pick up this component and this component. You can see it's the construction set and you can just you know add it everything that you want you need to have the climate zone you need to have You need to have vintage uh, and also construct uh, type as well. Just pick up this component and add them to the process. Depends on type of the you know uh, construction uh, and that you have on your building. Yeah, you need to use, for example, it's the wood frame, it's the steel frame, it's the mix or something like that. For climate zone, uh, as you know, we have uh, eight, eight parts uh, and you can choose one of them that you want, that you, uh, you know, everything that you want and your project located on uh, that, um, you know, that climate zone. And also you need to, you know, uh, add which type of the standard that you, you are planning to use. It's the Azure 
and uh, it's SGR 2019, 2016, or some things like that. It's uh, uh, you know it's completely up to your projects and according to uh, your project location, climate zone, and you know type of the construction that you are planning to do. You need to uh, choose uh, and you know add the process. Uh, also, I should mention that if you have any problem on the process, you need just uh, keep, uh, you know, the mouse on, you know, uh, the, you know, the com on uh, on uh, the, you know, the written part of the you know, component, and you can find uh, everything that you need to add. It is the you know easiest way that if you have any problem or you know confused about some things, you can you know use the component to find the problem and find the, your question about everything that you want to know. We choose it. Let's for uh, program. We have different way that you can add the program. Uh, for now, I'm uh, using the easiest way. But later, for uh, later in this tutorial, uh, I will uh, you know explain about different ways that you can gain a room program and a schedule. And please follow to learn. So you need to add uh, this component, uh, and you need to introduce which uh, you know type of the building that you know you are uh, you you are planning to make energy analysis for them, and uh, you know you you need to you know again you know add uh, the which type of the standard that you are planning to use, and uh, if you know if you don't about the you know just you know want to search something like that and then find the room programming name or just you know for example type everything that you know as a keyword and later you can find uh, you know room programming uh, that uh, you know that uh, that it exists in the honeybee library it's the you know finding the you know the programming uh, you know that uh, already exists on uh, you know uh, Honeybee li um, you know library, but if you want to have you know a special uh, you know room programming, you need to do, you know you know have a own and you know make a specific uh, program for your project. For now, I'm just using the easiest way, and I'm just um, planning to use the library. For now, and but later, I will, uh, you know, explain how you can make a specific programming, how you can make a specific a schedule, a sch schedules for your, uh, you know, uh, your building, uh, and uh, please stay, you know, tuned uh, to learning. For example, uh, mm, uh, we are planning to, uh, you know. Mm, make a you know a energy analysis for a office and this is the sub uh, uh, sub uh, spaces of a office building as you can see is a break room uh, you know it's the conference room it's the you know lobby it's the open space it's the you know uh, close office uh, for example it's tear and storage according to your project you need to choose a uh, uh, this part uh, for each uh, separate room that you have. 
uh, we are planning to add the stair uh, programming to our process. So you need to use, for example, the selector, uh, uh, Honeybee item selector, uh, and you can find this, uh, this component if you don't have it on a food rhino. Uh, website and uh, just you know download it and just drag in on uh, grasshopper and drag this component to the you know grasshopper and you can uh, easily find it so if you know and uh, another way that you can use uh, is that just write exactly uh, you know uh, the same and uh, exactly the name of the you know the state programming uh, to the you know um, honeybee and just added that panel to the you know uh, programming part but uh, it's important to write exactly the same it means you need to write to uh, 2019 medium for example office stair and you need to you know follow all of a uh, cap letter and other uh, other parts of uh, letters completely exact uh, ex exactly the same uh, way that you can see on the panel it's important because a later honeybee uh, you know cannot understand if the, uh, if there is a you know miss uh, spelling or something like that they cannot understand uh, what programming that you want and use uh, the you know the default a program for that special room if uh, there is a you know you have you you write wrongly or something like that oh as you can see we you need to you know write exactly the same which uh, i repeat it because it's important uh, to exactly the same write the same way so it is the one way use the you know item selector and another way is just write the panel for write the you know the name of your programming so let's go for conditions and roof angle as you know uh, on As you know this is the stair and uh, we don't you know have any cooling and heating system on uh, this part uh, it depends on your project in that project it's a medium office and I'm not planning to add uh, any uh, cooling and heating system to the stair so you need to you know um, just uh, you know write you know have a panel you know using a panel for and write false or just you know toggle uh, false use the toggle uh, and uh, you know just you know added it is the false and it means we we don't want to have a planning to add a cooling and heating system in that part uh, for roof angle uh, i should mention that we don't have as you can see any angle on the roof uh, of a stair so it means there is no need to add anything but add any angle uh, to this part we need to uh, do this process with all of the rooms for example
please do this process for all of rooms that you have and it's important to name correctly and you know separately please uh, for example uh, you know use uh, for example give a specific name for each room it's important especially for uh, where you are you know planning to have a result different result and you make a mistake um, you know you need to know the name of this you know uh, for example uh, office or name of the parts and you can come back easily on that part and change uh, or you know modify everything uh, and you know solve the problem so uh, that's me let's do uh, this process for all of that uh, all rooms You can change uh, uh, change construction set, program set according to, to uh, each building, and you need to uh, be careful about the program part. You need to choose, for example, it's the it's the you know office building, the open or cle uh, or close uh, you know office. You need to according to the you know type of the, your uh, room change this part. Be, please be careful about that. Uh, because, for example, on the office building, we have a conference room, we have a closed uh, office, we have an open, uh, you know, a space office, and also we have the, for example, break room, we have, um, for example, a stair, we have anything like that. You need to, according to the, you know, the name of the, you know, uh, the room and the, you know, the function of the room, change the program name and, you know, be careful about that. And also about the condition uh, part as well. You need to know which part, which rooms, uh, you know, you are planning to use. The cooling and heating system, it's important. It's according to your project, uh, it, it can be changed. It can be, uh, you know, uh, different. And so it's it's uh, it's up to you and it's the com uh, completely depends on your project. Please be careful about that. Another thing is that I need to again, uh, you know, uh, emphasize about that is that it's important to organize your uh, process um, because later, for now, maybe you are, you know, can you know understand everything on that, you know, things that you are doing. But later, when you are going to get the result, you need to know. For example, you get a problem on the programming part. You need to come back and solve it. And if you have a you know an organized uh, process, it's it, it it can be easy to find a process, and it's uh, you know make the process easy for you uh, to you know uh, follow the you know instruction and follow the problem and find and solve it. For example, for restroom, for that part, we don't need any, you know, conditions. Uh, so you need to know, you need to add is the false. If your project, there, you, you know, uh, it's completely different your project. But mostly on restrooms, a stair or some things like that, we don't use any cooling and heating system. So it means it's you need to add a false, and you know, for conditions and be careful to 
don't forget about that because as a default it's the you know true and if you don't you know uh, you you know don't change it it means you are it, you are planning to use cooling and heating system for a restroom for a stair and some things like that and so uh, so important to be careful about that So it's important to know the programming that uh, you know uh, the programming for open space uh, office is different from the closed uh, office. It is important to uh, it is important to uh, carefully you know uh, choose your programming. Uh, if you are planning to use the library, it's the you know the easiest easiest way uh, that I show you. It is the easiest way that use the library of Honeybee for choosing your programming. Later, I will uh, I will uh, learn you how you can uh, choose the programming uh, and you know have a specific programming uh, for your process. For now, I'm. We are just using the you know the basic uh, programming and you know the basic and the easiest way that you can add the programming to your honeybee energy uh, you know process so stay tuned follow me to Uh, to know how you can, you know, add a different, uh, you know, schedule and programming uh, um, to your energy analysis process for your building, and how you can, you know, have a specific uh, schedule and, you know, programming for your building. Uh, we are done. Uh, we added all of construct uh, construct set and, you know, programming to our room. For next tutorial, I will learn you how you can, you know, have a specific schedule and also programming. And then, uh, you know, we added, you know, windows, doors and other things uh, to our building. Um, for next tutorial, I'm planning to, you know, learn you how you can add uh, manually windows to the process and as you know we have a two way that we can you know add the windows i had uh, an, another tutorial that explained different way that you can add uh, you know um, windows to the you know building uh, we can uh, both manually and also with the percentage uh, at the you know window but for this tutorial, I'm planning to use the manually because we have a, a you know a specific window for your your building, and we can we need to add th that window you know uh, you know manually to the building. Please stay tuned, follow me, and you know um, uh, you can you know learn many things and and also write a comment for me. Uh, to you know if you have any problem and I try to pick up the comments and uh, uh, as I can and uh, stay tuned and stay safe